poor Joe Biden. Poor Joe Biden. He did not have a great night. Um, I'm not joking when I say he looks very confused up there. He looks half asleep. His eyes are like half closed. Um, so here's two parts of Biden, unfortunately, being Biden. And then we'll discuss. When President Ford pardoned President Nixon, he said it was to heal the country. Would you support a potential criminal investigation into President Trump after he leaves office, even if you thought it might further inflame the country's divisions? Look, I would not direct my Justice Department like this president does. I'd let them make their independent judgment. I would not dictate who should be prosecuted or who should be exonerated. That's not the role of the president of the United States. It's the attorney general of the United States, not the president's attorney, private attorney. And so I would, whatever was determined by the attorney general, I support it, that I appoint it. Let them make an independent judgment. If that was the judgment that he violated the law and he should be, in fact, criminally prosecuted, then so be it. But I would not direct it. And I don't think it's a good idea that we mock, that, that, we, that we model ourselves after Trump and say, lock him up. Look, we have to bring this country together. Let's start talking civilly to people and tweeting. You know, the next president who starts tweeting should, anyway. It, 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 <laughs> it just, we, look, it's about civility. We have to restore the soul of this country. The Me Too movement has forced a cultural reckoning around the issue of sexual violence and harassment against women in America. Are there specific actions that you would take early in your administration to address this problem? Yes, and by the way, it's one of the reasons, the first thing I would do is make sure we pass the Violence Against Women Act reauthorization, which I wrote. The fact, I didn't write the reauthorization, I wrote the original act. The fact is that what happens now is that we in fact have to fundamentally change the culture, the culture of how women are treated. That's why, as vice president, when I asked the president I could start the, the movement on the college campuses to say, it's on us. It's everyone's responsibility. We do not spend nearly enough time dealing with, I was stunned when I did a virtual town meeting that told me 30,000 people were on the, on the call, young people between 15 and 25, and found out, I said, what do you need what do you need to make you safer on college campuses and on your schools? You know what they said? Get men involved. Engage the rest of the community. And that's when we started this movement on the college campuses to fundamentally change the culture. No man has a right to raise a hand to a woman in anger other than in self-defense, and that rarely ever occurs. And so we have to just change the culture, period, and keep punching at it and punching at it and punching at it. It will be a big, no, I really mean it. It, it, make, it It's a gigantic issue. Oh. <laughs> he's talking about, like, domestic violence, and he's like, we got to change the culture and punch at it and punch at it and punch at it. And everybody's like, Joe, that don't. That's not the, don't, don't describe it like that, dog. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not cool. Um, so the first part, man, whenever, whenever Biden like cuts himself off mid-sentence and goes, anyway, that's Biden completely losing his train of thought and tapping out. That's what that is. That's why you, that's what you just saw in that first clip. He's like, and the president who tweeted and he tweets and. Anyway, that's his brain like, bro, I don't know where you're going with this. And so he just resets by doing anyway. And he does that quite a bit. That ends up happening quite a bit. In m multiple debates, he's done that. Um, and then Ken Clippenstein pointed out on Twitter, dude, you're asking Joe Biden a question about the Me Too movement. And he talks about how we need to change the culture of how women are treated. Dog, your nickname is Hansy Uncle Joseph. <laughs> there's, there's like clips that go on for ten minutes of him awkwardly touching like women's shoulders, and they're obviously uncomfortable with it. Kissing forehead, sniffing hair. It's just, it's just the optics are not good when you're asking Hansy Uncle Joe, and Uncle Joe's like, you know, messed up that people are Hansy, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, and then um. There's another part, you didn't see it in this clip, but we'll get to it later. 
Um, he's talking about uh, Cory Booker goes after him because he said he said mar maybe marijuana is a gateway drug, and then um, he's Biden's like I have a lot of support in the black community. I come out of the black community, and everybody's like, "What?" He's like, "I come out of the black community in terms of the support that I get, and that's why Obama picked me." That's not why Obama picked you. Obama picked you because he wanted white working class voters in the Rust Belt, and he thought you were a safe bet to get those people, so you get that dead wrong. But then he says, um, and the only uh, black female senator is supporting me. And Kamala's like, no, <laughs> I'm running for president. I'm uh, literally running against you right now, like right this second. And he's like, oh, no, the first, the first black female senator. Oh, God. Joe, I, honestly, and I'm not kidding when I say this, I do feel a little bad when we talk about him because, like, what is there to say? He's obviously not all there anymore. And, like, I don't... On the one hand, I feel bad, but on the other hand, like, he's running for president and he's still leading in some polls. So, and he can't be the president. I cannot see Joe Biden versus Donald Trump. I cannot see that. I cannot roll the dice on that. He is by far the least electable person on that front, by far, because he's lost, man, so, for the love of God, Joe, wrap it up and go lay on a beach, man, I want him to enjoy, like, his last years of life, um, but he's not, this is not good, and I think anybody paying attention can see that.